Hello everyone, this is Mark Van de of the Brainwagon Block. Well, actually it's Presto. He's uh, one of my other many toys that I have floating around my office. He is the star of one of Pixar's short films. But anyway, I didn't actually uh, work on that film, have nothing to do with it, so... Hi Presto! Uh, <laughs> you may remember that if you have a follower of my blog, that yesterday I had this board filled with a micro FM transmitter that was designed by uh, Tetsuo Kugawa. And I had nothing really very good to say about it. Um, but Tetsuo actually didn't recommend that we put uh, put uh, the circuit down on one of these. And for good reason, actually. It's As I mentioned in my video, um, these things aren't really that great for, uh, for things that use a lot of high-frequency circuitry. And certainly FM radio is up around 100 megahertz. So all of the sort of wires and stuff that you get here just throw off all sorts of stray signals and it's really really bad and it's hard to deal with and it's just not really all that great of an idea. What he did recommend is that you build it sort of what uh, we'd call Manhattan or ugly style in the ham radio world. So here I have a piece of copper clad board and what I've done is I've t punched a whole bunch of little little round uh, pieces of PC board material out like this, and uh, glued those down to basically create little isolated, insulated islands on the board. And then you put a blob of solder on the top of each one, and then you can use those to solder to. And it turns out that not only is this a really quick way to prototype, I threw this all together in an hour, and I actually made two mistakes that took me a while. I had a hard time getting in this uh, little green trimmer cap that I didn't think about the layout carefully enough, so I had to wedge it in at the end. But um, in general, the performance of this kind of circuitry is actually quite good. And in fact, if you remember yesterday, I had all sorts of trouble with my iPhone, and uh, it was uh, doing strange things, and I'd touch it, and it would go wonky. So here I have my, my radio, and I'm going to turn it way up. You might hear just a hint of the carrier there. I'm going to turn it back down for a second and start the music playing on my iPhone. And I'll turn this back up. And it works really quite well. I mean, it sounds actually remarkably good, given that it's just one transistor, a hand-wound coil, Closing time. a bunch of caps, Open resistors, and, let you, and out into you know, I wave my hand around here. It's not all chirpy and weird like Closing it was yesterday. Time. It actually performs pretty well. So I'm going to turn this back down a little bit so you can hear me. Um, it does still suffer a bit. Um, I'm getting a bunch of spurious responses, and I'll have to think about this a little bit more. But you can hear it. So here's one copy of it. If I turn up a little bit, I got kind of a crappy copy there. And here's another copy. And there's another copy really close. You can see I think that's it. So, we'll go back to the original copy. But, you know, strictly speaking, FCC-wise, this is probably not really a legal transmitter because it's sending out uh, energy out on four different frequencies. Um, because they're so close, it's probably tricky to bandpass filter. I'm not quite sure what's going on. I think that this radio has a 10.7 megahertz um, IF, and maybe it's just bursting through that and getting into the final stages in some funky way that I don't completely understand. But, actually, in terms of quality, this is actually remarkably good, given it's just a, literally a transistor and some handful of other components. And it wasn't even all that tricky to debug. I do recommend building it with a trimmer cap in place, because then you can tune it easily and figure out where you're going. I actually don't have a, uh, or couldn't find my insulated screwdriver, so I just used this little one here. Anyway, it was a fun project. Took me about an hour to put together. Uh, I just disassembled the, uh, the breadboard that I used and put all the components on there. And it works. 
So just to prove that I'm not uh, do, doing too much here, I can change this to any one of my uh, other many embarrassing songs that I have on my list. Like, uh, how about some Christine Aguilar? Anyway, this has been Mark Van Wettering, K6HX of the Brainwagon blog. I hope that you guys have a good day.